quick bio of the legendary Lynette. So Lynette's currently based in Milton Keynes and is the founder, producer and performer for the Tales Tattled and Told Storytelling Variety Show at the Rectory Cottages. Pre-pandemic, you'd see Lynette telling stories at various multi-faith events, festivals, schools and radio shows around Buckinghamshire and Northamptonshire. Feast of Falls in Northampton, Lynette recently told a story, a true story, Ernest and the Wolf, and there's been repercussions of this encounter between hunter and predator inspiring scouting and conservation movements globally. There's also some other popular original stories that Lynette tells, various adventures of her grandmother's ducks, the Englishman on the Brazos and the Lucky Cooking Pot. So Lynette's career was originally started in the United States as a journalist writing for newspapers such as the Washington Post and has also covered a number of different political campaigns and criminal truths, wrote about topics as diverse as elephant races, professional magicians unwilling to sell their secrets and also an intrepid explorer who spent his summers searching for Noah's Ark. And just another call out for Lynette's actually an author of the fantasy novel series, The Glass Singers, available on Amazon. So now I'd like to introduce to you the legend herself, Lynette Hill, with an educational speech entitled The Joyous Art and Craft of Storytelling. Thank you, Daniel. I, I really appreciate the opportunity to come and speak to you. Um, and to speak to fellow wordsmiths. It's always wonderful to, to speak to people who understand the craft of polishing words and sharing information. And one thing I have learned across uh, my career is that there are very many ways to tell a story and to share a story. And for me, one of the most joyous things is to stand up and orally tell a myth, a legend, a folktale of some kind. Now, one of the things Daniel asked me to share is the difference between a speech and a story. And I think the best way to do that is simply to show you. You've just heard the beginning of my speech. And now, here's a story. Once, there was a woman. She knew a story and a song, but she never shared them. She was busy. She had children and husband and her job and chores around the house. And you, you know how it goes. It's probably the same for you. But the story and the song, they were very unhappy. It was their destiny to be shared with the world. And they didn't like being cooped up inside this woman. They wanted to get out. And so one day, when she was taking a nap, she lay on the couch with her mouth open and the story and the song, they escaped. Well, her husband just happened to walk into the room when this happened and he saw a light fill the room. He heard music and laughter and voices and then it all vanished. Later that evening, he asked his wife, do you remember that story you used to tell, that song you used to sing? You were a legend. And his wife just looked at him and said, what are you talking about? She didn't remember. She hadn't shared her story in her song. And so they had left her, never to return. Now, it's sometimes hard to explain the difference between speech making and storytelling. But I think we can hear it. And the reason why our brains are so happy to hear a story is because that is how people evolved evolutionarily. Evolutionarily, I should have practiced that word. Um, we developed as storytelling machines. Every culture in the world, wherever you go, you will find a storytelling tradition. And that's true whether you're talking about the bards of Celtic Europe, the Dritzilla of the Jewish tradition, the Buddhist koans, which are stories used for teaching people, the griot of Africa, wherever you go, you will find stories and the people who tell them. And what's interesting is how many of these stories we actually hold in common, even among peoples who've never met each other before. 
because this is this is just how we've developed. Now, the tools of speech making and the tools of storytelling are very similar, but the difference is this: a speech gives you facts, it gives you information, and listeners engage with a speech with their conscious mind. It's a, it's a very top sort of experience, whereas stories paint movies in your mind. They create images. We might not share the images, but we share the journey of imagination. And this is how our brains absorb stories and a well-told story will resonate in your deepest unconscious, sometimes when you're not even aware of it. And that's why we find them so compelling and so useful. That is why the best speech makers embed their speeches with the tools of storytelling. When you do that, you become legend. Thank you.